Okay, well, uh, as you can see, the uh, cost of uh, groceries and some of these things is a bit of a mixed bag over here, not necessarily so cheap. Uh, but um, as far as the services are concerned, uh, that's where you're going to really save money. And uh, I'm going to put up some prices here, uh, speaking from past experiences, uh, what the costs are uh, for, uh, get some information on the doctor, the dentist, uh, lab costs, Okay, I'm here at the uh, Alturas Grocery Store. This is the largest grocery store on the island of Bahal. And this is in the Island City Mall in Tegbalarn City. And uh, today happens to be the last day of August 2024. And we are going to go inside the store here and we're going to take a quick look at some of the common food items to see how the prices compare to where you're at. Okay, we're going to take a look at the uh, ground beef here. Now, the one thing that you'll notice uh, in this grocery store is that they uh, they have all of the uh, meat is uh, packaged in bags for you here, uh, no matter what kind it is. Uh, so I'm going to go down, and there's uh, basically two grades of ground beef. Uh, one of them is premium, and the other has... Uh, a lot of gristle in it, so you'll want to get the premium. Let's take a look at the price on that. And now you'll notice that the uh, beef section here, they don't have a big selection. Beef skin, chuck plate, bone stew. Chicken breast fillet, this is frozen. Uh, that's uh, 340 a kilo. Okay, the regular chicken breast, that's 259. I think that might have a bone or something in there, I'm not really sure. Okay, and there's your drumsticks, 225. Large eggs, nine and a half pesos for each one. Medium, 8.7 pesos each one. Okay, the beer section here. The regular San Miguel Pilsen is uh, 52, 53 basically per can. All right, now you can get some premium Becks here for 92.75 pesos per bottle. Okay, standard favorite there. Some Heineken, there's your Budweiser. Okay, I'm going to be uh, taking a beer run here down um, where I usually get my beer at a store down in Penglao proper, and I get the, uh, uh, the returnable bottles here. And uh, what I pay here for the, uh, for the Red Horse, uh, the Red Horse here, um, now that is uh, 330 milliliters uh, per bottle on this. And uh, the case price for the 24 is uh, 880 pesos. And that's 6.9% uh, that's alcohol on that. And then I also, uh, I always get a case uh, of uh, San Miguel uh, Pilsen here, uh, the regular Pilsen, and that's 5% uh, alcohol. And uh, each one of these bottles is 320 milliliters. And uh, that's uh, 850 for the case of 24. Okay, so the way that they do milk here is rather interesting. Um, it only comes in these uh, these cartons here. I'm going to tell you how much is in there and how much it costs. And they call it fresh milk. I'm going to show you the uh, expiration date on this thing. And there's your freshness dates for the fresh milk. Okay, so I'm in the international aisle. I'm going to take a look at it. Uh, well, I'm going to take a look at this the soup here. All right, so there's your uh, Campbell's soup, 102.45 pesos per can, the cream of mushroom. Okay, so here's a big thing of Wishbone Thousand Island and Ranch, and those, you can see what that's gonna set you back there, that's quite a bit. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at the common types of cereal here. Corn flakes are 149. All right, so here's one of my favorite sections, the Pringles. 
All right, now, uh, this is the white bread that I usually buy here. Uh, this stuff it is now uh, 85 pesos a loaf. Okay, so we're looking at the TV sets here. This is a 55 inch Samsung. And, uh, you know, I think there's two models of these, but anyways, we're gonna take a look at this one here, which is uh, basically 26,000 pesos. Okay, I just jumped into a trike here uh, at the Island City Mall. And now I'm gonna head over to the uh, local McDonald's and we're gonna take a look at the uh, prices over there. Okay, so here's the Big Mac meal, the medium. 254 pesos. Okay, I'm here at the uh, Caltex gas station. We just got onto the island of Pangwao, and um, we're gonna check out the uh, gas prices here. Now, the one thing I do wanna say about the uh, gas is that the lowest grade regular gas that they have is a 91, and the premium is a 95. All right, your 91 and your 95. Okay, there's the prices. On August 30, 2024, and I will figure out what the price per gallon is on those for you. But uh, what I do recommend uh, here on the island of Bahal, at least, is uh, Caltex and uh, Patron are the two uh, reputable gas dealers that I've uh, found here. Okay, this price, uh, 59.28. Uh, I've seen it uh, almost two pesos less than that per liter. But anything under uh, 60 is uh, really a pretty good price uh, as far as what I've seen over the last couple of months here. Okay, I'm at my uh, usual Patron station here in uh, Hangwau. And uh, so the, uh, the uh, 91 octane, they call that the extra. That's uh, 56.95. That's the first time I saw with a 56 handle on it. So that's the best deal going uh, as of right now. So when I was up there at the uh, grocery store in Tagbalaran City earlier, uh, what I was doing there was I was waiting for my truck to be repaired. And what they found was just a little problem in the front end. There was one of these um, uh, rubber boots uh, up there was leaking. And so I'm going to show you uh, what they did. And I'm going to tell you how much it cost to repair because... Uh, one of the really good things here over in the Philippines um, that's a really low cost uh, deal is uh, is the uh, repairs on your uh, car and probably on your motorbike also. But I'll tell you, uh, it, it almost shocks me how, how cheap things are to, uh, to repair over here. Okay, so here's what they repaired um, is, this, is this rubber boot right here. Uh, they put on a new one of those. It was... Uh, it was leaking grease all over the place there, I noticed. And so we're going to take a look at the bill. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, the uh, cost of uh, groceries and some of these things is a bit of a mixed bag over here. Not necessarily so cheap. Uh, but um, as far as the services are concerned, uh, that's where you're going to really save money. And uh, I'm going to put up some prices here, uh, speaking from past experiences, uh, what the costs are uh, for, uh, get some information on the doctor, the dentist, uh, lab costs, and some things like this. So I'm going to uh, put that information up here now.
Okay, so that wraps up the little tour of the grocery store and the other things. And so uh, it would be great if you would leave a comment below and let us know about uh, how much some of these things cost where you're at and uh, we'll see how they compare. I thought you were going down to the store to get beer. There's nothing but empties out there. Well, Mike, they ran out of beer down there. That's what they told me. They ran out of beer? What are you talking about? They got stacks of beer down there usually. How could they possibly run out? Well, Mike, I don't know, but not only that, but she told me that when they do get the beer, they're gonna raise the price on it. Here, listen to her yourself. Tomorrow, the price of the beer is increased. Mike, Mike, calm, calm down, man. Just calm down, okay? Mike, Mike, calm down. They'll have beer in a few days, okay? I'll run down there and get it then for you, okay? Yeah, 999. Yeah, I've got a patient here with red horse fever and uh, I'm going to need an ambulance for him. Four hours? Can you make it any sooner? Well, okay. Four hours. Thanks. <laughs>